Hello, in this video, I'm gonna be fitting one of these concealed door closers. In the box, you get the closer itself, a parting tool, and I'll show you what that's for later, some screws to fit the plates, and some instructions which are pretty useless. I'm gonna fit mine right near the bottom of the door, mainly because the shaft on this thing is quite long, and I don't want the depth of that hole to interfere with the panel on my door, so I need to put it somewhere down here. Right, just to explain how these things work. On the end here, you'll see is the tip of a bolt. That bolt is connected to a chain that runs down the length of the shaft, and to tension or detension the mechanism inside, you need to rotate this plate. And it's usually quite stiff when you get it out of the packaging, so you can use the parting tool to twist it. There we go. Now you can see it twists freely, and I'm effectively unscrewing that bolt and detensioning it. And I can tension it by twisting it the opposite way. The instructions say that you need a 26 millimeter drill bit to drill out for the shaft, and that's incorrect you actually need a 25 millimeter bit. It's worth pointing out because 25 millimeters or 25.4 millimeters, which is one inch, are common sizes of drill bits. So you might already have one, so don't go buying a 26 millimeter bit unnecessarily. This bit that I'm going to use is called an auger bit. The instructions also tell you to drill out for the cylinder and fit that first, but if you do that, then you're not gonna be able to mark up the door jam with this plate size. So. Ignore the instructions and I'd recommend marking this up onto the door jamb before you do anything else. I'm actually gonna take this apart to free up the plate so that I can mark around it. So there you can see the chain and the bolt on the end. And that's the plate that I need to mark around. And now I can use a chisel and a mallet to cut the recess. I'm also gonna cut a notch in the middle just to receive this part on the plate. That'll do the job. I want my door recess to be nice and level with the recess in the jam and nice and centered to the door. So I'm just lining that up by eye. Right, not the neatest job, but I am working very close to the floor and with a camera in my face. But as you can see, the plate fits nicely. I'll just have to touch that up later. And at this point, I'm just gonna mark out my center hole. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole first using this very long six mil bit. Doesn't have to be a bit this long. The only reason I'm using a long one is because it makes it easier to see when you're drilling straight. And I'm gonna mask up the drill bit with a piece of masking tape so that I know I'm drilling to the correct depth. 150 millimeters. Now I can swap over to the auger bit. That should be fine. Putting these back together isn't particularly easy, but it can be done. You just need to make sure you line up the tip of the bolt with the hole in the bottom of the cylinder probably gonna take a few attempts to get this, and then you can just wind it in. At this point, I can rotate this back plate, and that will give me space to drill out the pilot holes for the screws. Now it's the tricky part, I need to separate these two plates, and I'm gonna use a pry bar for that. And as you pry this apart, you can use the parting tool hooked into the chain to keep it in place where you want it. Right, I've made a mess of my door, which is annoying, but now I've got enough wiggle room on this chain to be able to fit the plate to the door jamb. The final job is to tension or detension as necessary, and I needed to detension mine for reasons I'll explain shortly, but you basically just need to unscrew the door jamb plate, twist it once or twice, refit it again, and try it out. And it took me a couple of attempts to get mine tensioned just how I wanted it. 
So these door closers are often used for fire doors, but that's not why I've installed this one. I've actually got mine so that the tension is set really loose, and that's because I want the door to pull shut, but without closing. And basically I've installed it because I want to keep the heat in the room. When we have our wood stove on, our cats are constantly in and out of the room and they leave the door wide open and then all of the heat leaves the room. So the idea behind this is that it will leave enough of a gap for the cats to squeeze in and out, but it won't be left wide open. And I think it's gonna work well. This is only the second of these concealed door closers that I've fitted. And the only reason I'm making this video is because I found the instructions to be useless and there weren't any good installation videos on YouTube that I could find. My method might not be the best. If you know a better method, please let me know down in the comments. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching.